hello hello guys today i want to show you how we can just type mathematical equations in microsoft word yeah some people are just struggling to know how they can just type the mathematical or the maths equations and others are just afraid to type mathematical equations on math equations and that's very simple to do it in microsoft word and very easy to everyone um to type equations in microsoft word we just go to insert you go to insert the insert tab and here in the right corner there is symbols group where we have equation and symbols and now we just have symbols down here you see there are many different symbols you can even click it to more to see here are more different symbols but we just need equations and here once you click on this drop arrow down arrow you see there are different uh, types of equation there are area and circle there is binomial theorem there is expansion of the sum there is more equations from office.com there is where you can insert new equations there is where you can ink equations and that's not where we're just going to pass once one when we are going to type mathematical equations we are just going to click here in equation instead of going instead of going here on this arrow we just click here immediately to the equation and clicking here will just be uh, you have equation here you see here they are just asking you to type here you can type you can type whatever and here you have an equation an equation box where you just have to type mathematical equations and that is not exactly what shows you mathematical functions here there is where you have uh, different symbols yeah, here are simple symbols that we use in mathematics once you are going to type mathematical equations here there is now equation here we have fraction we use this fraction x over y once we just we just want to type fractions and here there is here there is stacked equations you see and down here there is here stacked fraction and here next you have skewed fraction you can just format you tie the, the way you just want to your fraction to look like and here we have linear fraction and here we have small fraction and here we have just some common fraction dy over dx well, for those who uh, who did mathematics you just now get it dy over dx here you have cap delta y over cap delta x and here we have partial y over partial x and next here we have delta y over delta x and here there is pi we have pi over 2 and we use all of these once we are just going to type fractions and here you see we have script once we want just to type uh, to type superscript superscript now once we are typing in mathematics there is no need to go uh, there to home where you have uh, x, x power 2 to type math, uh, to type squares or superscript here this is no mathematical equation just we have just to move to to equation and just use script and here we have superscript here we have subscript here we have subscript superscript and here we just have left script and super script and here we have just the common scripts and super scripts and we just pass here once we just want to type scripts or numbers or equations that have upper subscript upper and subscript and here we have radicals we just pass here once we click here once we just want to type radicals here we have radical we have square root here we have radical with the degree here you can just have yeah the 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 square here there you can just have square root here you can just have nth 
square nth root and here we have the square root with a degree and here we have cubic root down here we have common radicals here you see here there is a formula of delta and here we have square root of a of squared plus b of square a squared plus b squared in mathematics you remember that here we have integrals in mathematics here we have just integrals here you have integrals with the limit maybe it's a it's an integral of, of something from a given number to any number here we have limits and here we have integral the stack limits and here we have double integrals and here we have double integral with the limits and here we have double integral with the stacked limits and so on once you just don't want to type integrals we go there and here we have operators you remember all those who did mathematics in the statistics here we have here watch once that you want uh, one type summation and here there is summation with the remits here there is summation with scripts or subscript or superscript limits and so on and here there is brackets those who write well, mathematical equations with bracket here there is square bracket here there is carry braces or carry brackets and here we have angle brackets once we just now going to type trigonometric functions we just click here and here we have sine we have cosine we have we have tan this is tangent function and this is cosine co co uh, cos coscant and here we have second function and now here we have accent once we just want to type uh, numbers of functions with with accent you see here we have accent and next to there we have limits you see there we have uh, operators we have limits we have everything here any equation in mathematics that you have to type you find it here in the equation and here we have limit you have logarithms you see here we have logarithm with empty base and here we have operators you see all operators are here you can just use this once you just want to to type some uh, the mathematics with this allow but once you want just to even in chemistry this can be used once you're just going to use heating on the equation here you see and in mathematics you see here we have left word double arrow above and here we have matrix matrix in mathematics is typed here you see here within matrix we can just scroll down to see here there is matrices with brackets and here there is sparse matrices you see down here you can just type math uh, matrices in mathematics yeah now guys let's have some examples to see how we can just type and just see how we can use those equations yeah, let's for example type a kind of fraction you see you can say maybe you have a one type of maybe uh, 2x you see you have 2x 2x yeah 2x this is mathematical x plus on the keyboard you just type plus sign or try plus key and plus something remit just type maybe 20, 24 over over uh, now let me just type y plus plus two and you go there to put equal sign equal to something maybe 34 yeah now you see i have a fraction i have a fraction you can type things of the kind and you can go back to insert equation here you can just see again this all fractions here you can just type and this is how my fractions are looking like maybe i just want to type a fraction with the square i can just you see here i have my equation tab equation box i can go here to fraction i just have free fraction and within a fraction i can just use script 
let me uh, just use upper script i click in the one box and i go to script there i can just uh, can here type maybe uh, five five and something like x and i go into this box here i put square and i go down there to put plus and something something like uh, let me type 23 x and i go down here to put something too i can also use script here you see I have upper script down script let me use upper script i can type maybe y cube or y square i can put whatever i want you see you can type whatever i want here and this is fractions you can put numbers you can put numbers with the nouns you can type whatever every fraction can be tapped in using this your yeah, fraction your yeah, fraction equation here and let me just put uh, maybe uh, 15 or 14 and this is equal to to something let me uh, just uh, put uh, yeah, 45 45 and you see guys how you can just type a fraction any fraction can be typed can, can be written this way and let me go to insert again to equation i can type two also you can if it is a uh, an equation that is requiring you to use your script with uh, your subscript you can type for you can just click here and you add here maybe you are just going to type your equation your equation with the base maybe it is eight and here there is two there is whatever here there is x there is whatever once you want to use uh, subscript you can go there and use it and let me go back to equation and show you if you are just want to type something with the radical i can just click here to so to type square root of of maybe x square let me if there is something like square or cubic that is requiring script you go back to script even if you are just having low radical but inside the radical you can have something like something with script you type can click here you type maybe uh yeah two yeah two x two x cube and you go down press five 5x square if i want just a square i go to script again and here i have x you can just use down yeah, those directional laws you yeah, to move to power and this is square and i can go again down i just press something like 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 for uh, x and this is an equation that i have here uh for x and i can move move there again i i, I just type equal sign equal to zero you can solve it or you can just use mathematical other mathematical expressions to solve now here we are just dealing on how we can type different equations yeah this is how we can use radicals and apart from radicals we can just use uh can just show you how you can type uh, integrals you see even in the radicals you can just put something here you see i can just put here any number if i want just to, to put any number in the radical up there i can maybe here put five i can here put five you see i can put five here can just uh, put uh, 1567 you see and you can just solve for it can solve for it and see how what will be the answer and now we can see how we can just type radicals yeah this is radicals now integrals here you can see you have integrals here you have integrals with the limit and all equations with integrals uh, can be typed here click here if you just want only integrals let me type for example to uh yeah two x dx uh, you mathematician you, you mathematicians you see uh, you know the, know what to do here with uh, 
integrals let me equal to to something maybe you can solve for x you can just try to find what's there you can just find what's there and apart from that you can just use integrals with the limit you can just type integrals with the limit you see here i can type maybe i just want to go from in any number here i can go from 0 to 5 to 5 here are integrals with the limit and here you have x square if i need x square here you see immediately there is a script here there is there is square i go to script here upper script subscript and i type maybe to let me just use 5 x square square plus plus something maybe to x here plus 25 equal to uh, now 5 let me just put parenthesis here i need to put parenthesis to to put dx for integral equations on here i use dx let me just put dx and this also can be solved for x you can just find what what's there and these are integrals if, with the with the remit you see any mathematical equations can be typed here down here have other kind of integrals limit within remit with the down here have uh, double integrals here you have large operators you see here there is large operators you can just type sum the summation of something you can just type summation of something here you see maybe you are just going to use if f of x here if you want to type this if of, of x f of x here just have something you can type it like this if it is any any equation down here you see uh once we have those uh, large operators we can just use the one with the sum you see once you need you need uh this one with the limits you can maybe go from from i to n i to n you can see i to n and you type something here you see you can type whatever you want here you can type any mathematical mathematical expression you see you can type whatever and apart from those large operators you can just go to equation again and you go to bracket you see maybe you remember this in mathematics maybe once you are just want to, to use a carry brackets once you want to use uh, you can even go there down to see more different type of uh, brackets you see in equations you remember this here you have case two conditions I can use these two conditions here I have x let me just state two conditions x minus y minus 2y for example equal to 0 and down here now I have a system of equation I can just type 5 or 4x let me just use 4x 4x is equal to maybe to 3y to 3y plus something plus 12 now you see now here you can solve for x and y and you see now with this you can just type whatever using equation in microsoft word and here we have different different yeah now here you see there is example equation using cases here you can just solve for three conditions maybe you have x y and z you can solve for x you can solve for y and you can solve for z and here you have you see stack object in the parenthesis here there is there is trigonometric uh, tr uh, trigonometric functions you can just type scene scene of any angle here you can just type scene of any angle and maybe here if you want to use some angles you can go to symbols down here you see there are different different symbols you see here we have theta 
I can just use it. You can just plus plus something. But if you need script in any equation, you got you just back here. If you need radical, you can just use different functions, different here functions in one question. Maybe I just want uh, to, you to type sin sin square of something. You go to to upper script and here you type sin square. Just type type sin. Bar you just you can type or you can just go there to sin. And just you, you see you can just type or you can go there square square and down here there is an angle. You can just type this theta variant. Here we have omega. We have yeah you can use whatever to type those functions. And guys. You see, we have different ways, and all mathematical equations can be typed in Microsoft Word. Here we have limit, we have minimum, we have max, we have a logarithm, we have many, many things. Here we have common functions, here they are non common functions. And if you want a symbol, you go back here. If you need to type in function, you come back here. Here there are operators. Here there are operators, maybe you just, just want to use this in logic, in where, here there is matrix. Down here there is different type of matrices. Here there is empty by, two by two matrix in parentheses. You can type matrix, you see, maybe you have something here, you have just uh, four here, you have four again, or you have six there, up you have eight, you can just use this matrix. And this is how we can try matrix in mathematics. And guys, if you just want to use this, if you just want to ink, you can even ink equation. You can even just, we'll see it later. You see, you can just convert to linear to what all mathematical equation or here we have conversion, all mathematical conversion symbols and structures. Can all can all or all of them seen here? And guys, don't be afraid again to type your mathematical uh, my, my, your mathematical equations in Microsoft Word. If you have it may be a paper in exam, you can just be given uh, those things like this to type. Once you're just going in an exam that requires you to meet, uh, to have uh, or to master Microsoft Word. And guys, this is how you can type mathematical expressions, mathematical equations. And guys, enjoy this video. And see you next time in another video. And you can just leave your comment. You can just leave whatever that you, that you want us to deal with or to do or to work on. And guys, let's see next time.